Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be creating a meme generation command with our Discord.js bot. And as this is part 21 of our series, if you're a newcomer to this series, don't worry, you don't have to watch all 21 parts to understand this video because I'll be going over everything that you're going to need throughout this video. So let's demonstrate the command before we use it. It's You can either be used as a slash command or as a normal command with this syntax. So let's use it as a slash command first. So if we say meme, it'll produce a random meme from within our meme array index. And this is just a bunch of memes that I've collected from the internet. And you can put whatever random ones you think of and place them inside of this command. So let's get started with all the prim preliminary, pre preliminary stuff that you need before we get started. So the first thing you're going to need is an index.js file. And you can find all these files within our GitHub. So within this index.js file, we have first all the modules that we need and all the commands from them. Then we have our command handler, which is right here. This siphons through the command files that we have within our command folder, and it registers them and allows them to be used with our bot. And then we also have an event handler similar to the command handler. It siphons through the events, such as when a user creates a message, once the bot is ready or once the user creates an interaction then it decides what to do with these events usually it happens that once an event once one of these events is reached then it leads to a command and that command runs the next thing you're going to need is our deploy commands.js folder or file and what this does is it deploys slash commands so without this you'd only be able to use normal commands that have a an, an exclamation point or whatever prefix you want in front of them. It's like, for example, ping, you'd only, you'd only be able to use those types of commands. You would not be able to use other commands that we have. So then once you have the index.js and deploy commands.js, you're also going to need our ready.js event. This just states that once the bot is ready, then it goes online. All right. And also, before we get started, just take a look at our Discord right here. If you'd like to ask any questions or just want to chat and try using these commands for yourself, you can hop onto our Discord, which is in the description, and you can join. So now let's hop into our meme.js file. And I already have all this written, but we're going to go through this line by line so you understand it. So the first thing we have is constant message embed equals require discord.js. And this basically allows us to use an embed because each of these images is placed within an embed that we can delete on a click, as you can see. And then we also have the slash command builder from discord.js slash builders. This allows us to build slash commands. Now we have module.exports equals now the data is equal to new slash command builder. The name is set to meme. It has to be set to the same name you give your file. So meme and meme. And the description is set to whatever you want as your description. And we have an execute function. It takes in one interaction. So once an interaction has been created, then this function executes. We have a, we have a variable, an array of memes. And this is just memes that I found online. Let's copy one of them. So if we copy one and paste it, then as you can see, it's just an image, a links to an image. Then now we're going to, need to create a random index from zero to the length of the memes array. So we use math.random here. Math.random creates a random double from zero to one, non-inclusive. So it starts at zero and it goes to one, but it does not include one. We multiply this by the length of our memes array <clears throat> and we floor it, which means we get rid of any any decimals that are within the number and just keep the number. And then we actually create the embed. So constant meme embed equals new message embed dot set image and we set it to the index, our random index that we've created of our memes array. And then we reply to the interaction, placing this embed within our embeds array. And that's really all you need for this meme generator command. And as you can see, you can have as many as you want because this is not, the values are not hard coded. So you can have as many memes as you want. You can have from one to infinity, really. 
And if you guys if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below or join our Discord and you can ask me there. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please do the same. If you liked, like the video. If you and please subscribe and I will see you all next time. Thanks.